Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to show you what in my opinion is hands down the best furniture finish there is. I got this mixture from a 1983 interview of Sam Maloof. For those of you who don't know, Sam is a legendary woodworker and he's known for his Maloof style rocking chair. His chairs back in the day in the early 80s were going for as much as eight to fifteen thousand uh, dollars so he really knew what he was talking about and knew what he was doing and was kind of set himself aside from other people in the woodworking world Sam Maloof a woodworker for 35 years a man who's beautifully designed and executed furniture has rarely been matched for its classic form and finish Sam is probably America's number one craftsman in wood. He lives in this splendid, sprawling house behind me, which he designed and built step by step himself. And one more thing, Sam Maloof has never had a day's formal training as a woodworker in his entire life. So what you're gonna want is some tongue oil, some boiled linseed oil, and some beeswax. And basically, the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna mix about half tongue oil and half boiled linseed oil. And then we're gonna add some, some beeswax to the end. So let's pour this in here. Just gonna. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Gonna mix about the same amount of this into there. And now, gonna set that to the side. I got a little parchment paper here. and my beeswax and I'm just gonna grate the beeswax. And this is just to help it melt easier and get mixed up in there. All right, I like to get about a third the amount of liquid of beeswax, or the equivalent to about a third the amount of liquid in there. So now I'm just gonna toss this in here. There we go. Now, you're going to want to put this in a pot of boiling water or on a heater or something where this gets nice and warm and stays warm for a bit so the wax gets all dissolved into the oil. So let me go grab a pot. I have a pot sitting on the stove right now and I'll be right back. So this is almost boiling water here and I'm just going to put this in there and let it sit until it's nice and nice and hot and dissolved in there. And when you use this stuff, you'll wanna warm it up each time. After it sits a while, uh, the wax can solidify or partially solidify again. So you'll wanna warm it up every time you go to use it. Okay, I have this on my stove now just to get a little more heat. The first time that you melt it it will take longer all right so there it is all dissolved up i like to use old jam jars or what have you for this um, let's try it on this little entertainment center i'm working on building i like to use cut up t-shirts to to apply it still a little bit hotter than i'd like but let's see here This stuff you're gonna wanna kinda let dry overnight, but look at that. It 
This stuff just fills the grain so nicely and it really, it makes it feel even smoother because the beeswax and the way everything just, just fills in. It's just a really nice finish. All right, guys, so there you have it. This stuff will pretty much cover up any sanding mistakes made in darker color woods. It's a little less forgiving on the, the white color woods, such as bats wood, but it's really great for dark colored woods, which is what most people use for making furniture. I suggest sanding down to a 400 grit on all the surfaces you care about. This stuff, for me, the, the sweet spot on the sanding is 400 grit with this stuff. Try it out, I can pretty much guarantee you won't be disappointed and it'll blow your mind away. Well, that's all I have today. I'm gonna leave a link below in the, the full build for this project here of this uh, TV stand I'm building. Um, if you liked it, please go down, hit thumbs up, and feel free to subscribe. Have a good day. Once it's cooler, this is about the right consistency where it looks like a thing of caramel. <laughs>